Hello, I'm firefighter paramedic Caleb Carlin with Graham Fire and Rescue. Today I'm here to talk to you about stopping the bleed. Uh, a couple types of bleeds that you might uh, encounter at home uh, could be like a venous bleed, typically comes from like a laceration. You could be cutting yourself when you're doing any kind of work in the kitchen. Um, something you could do at home is just use a clean uh, washcloth here and you want to apply direct pressure and make sure that you're able to stop and then call 911 if it's continuing to bleed pretty profusely. Uh, once we get there, we have things like combi pads that we can apply um, that are sterile and that will stop the bleeding. Some other things that you may encounter at home are deep lacerations resulting in our arterial bleed. Uh, with those, we definitely recommend you call 911, in which case when we get there, we'll be applying a tourniquet uh, to stop any blood flow to that appendage. Um, another type of bleed that you may be encountering at home would be a nosebleed. Um, most nosebleeds are typically not an emergency, um, but whenever you're in doubt, please call 911. And as always, your safety is our priority.